Hey everybody, Sky Advantage Photo coming to you with another drone review. Uh, right here I have, looks like a baby DJI Spark. Uh, fortunately DJI did not make this drone. It's not a uh, DJI quality drone, but um, it just looks looks like a little mini baby Spark. Uh, so let me put the Spark away, just wanted to give you a comparison. But this is from, called, I guess it's Fly Zoe. It's a six axis uh, gyro little mini pocket drone. It has a uh, Wi-Fi. It could do 360 flips, has uh, three speed rates and has altitude hold. And it comes in three different colors. I have the white one here. It comes in blue, yellow, and a red. So, uh, it's actually a really, really nice drone uh, for a really affordable price. I'll throw up the link on uh, Amazon. They're an Amazon seller. Uh, it was only, I believe, uh, $19.99, and that's pretty decent for uh, a drone with altitude hold and just this cool-looking uh, design. I mean, kind of reminiscent of the DJI Spark, like I was saying. Also, the, the arms do fold up. So that's kind of neat. It just folds up into a little tighter, smaller package. And like I said, uh, it has Wi-Fi. So it's a FPV drone. It has a camera up front. Uh, again, it's not going to be a, a film-making tool by any means, but it's nice just to have a, a cool FPV experience if you, if you so desired. Uh, charges from the back right here and the remote uh, has uh, plenty of buttons these are left and right trim forward and back trim your standard uh, directional movements your yaw movement and your throttle up and throttle down I believe this is a 360 flip and this uh, I believe is a I forgot let me look it up so I'll tell you what all these buttons do so this uh, is actually oh, the speed variable speed so uh, I believe it has three uh, speeds a uh, high medium and low speed and this button is the re one key return so if it flies too far away you hit this button and it'll come back towards you that's also that's really uh, convenient uh, this is a headless mode so it does does have headless mode. It has a emergency but emergency stop, so I imagine it would just kill the motors and in case you needed to bring it out of the sky for emergency purposes, it has that function. It has a one key uh, start and land. So those are always nice, one key start and land. Uh, makes it easy for takeoff. Uh, so I'm going to uh, charge this up a little bit. Uh, well, let me show you what else comes in the box. Uh, comes with some extra propellers, a little screwdriver, and a holder for your phone if you wanted to do some FPV. So I guess uh, this would uh, mounts right there. That's really neat. I guess you could put a screw here, and you probably should if your phone is really heavy. Uh, so it mounts like this and just put a little screw right there so you can hold your phone right here. So I'm going to charge it up and um, fly it around and I'll show you how well it flies. And uh, I'll throw some of the video uh, off of the drone so you could get an idea of the video quality. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, we're outside. I am uh, on top of my AC unit here, and it's really windy today. I don't know if you can hear the, the wind in this microphone, but it's really windy here. So it's probably not a very good idea to be flying this outside, but I'm going to try anyways. Uh, I have the FPV camera live view connected. So you can see it's showing the live view on my phone right now. We're going to take off and we're going to see if this is going to be able to handle in this wind. I have already set it on the highest uh, speed and we're going to see if we could take off. So 
So immediately it's having a hard time fighting the wind, but it's actually manageable. I'm not gonna fly too high because I just know it's gonna gonna fly away on me. But hey, I'm, I'm I am impressed. It's it's holding its own. Um, it's drifting to the right right now because it's that's where the wind is coming from. I'm gonna keep it a little bit low so it just dodges the wind. But hey, it is it is doing pretty well for just a tiny little pocket drone. So again, I'm gonna throw some of this video up the drone footage so you could see the quality of the the drone video. Let's see if we could do a flip. I don't know if I caught that on film, but I just did a flip. Let's try to do another one. So we're gonna fly right here in my doorway because it's so windy outside. Uh, so we could have some coverage from the wind. So I have my live view hooked up. And I'll show you it hovers really well. It's at uh, high speed right now because it is really windy outside. But pretty impressive hovering. I'm going to try to do a flip without crashing into anything. See if I can do a flip real quick. Let's bring it up a little higher. There it goes. See if we can do another flip real quick. There it goes. It's a pretty decent flipper. I think that's it for the flips. It's running low on battery already. So I would say uh, in high speed, high rate, it uh, has probably two, maybe three minutes of battery life. 